You know when Apple gets the same message you do so many times? They push out an update pretty quickly. Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 12, Developer Beta 12, and Public Beta 10. This is available immediately because we kept getting that pop-up over and over on our displays, probably a thousand times at this point since yesterday. This addresses that issue, and that issue was a result of some coding that really was pointing to a date of release of yesterday for the next beta or the next version. So because of that, and someone didn't update it or fix it, it kept popping that message up over and over and over. Now on my iPhone 10, it came in at 108.5 megabytes. On these devices, it came in at different sizes. My iPad Pro 12.9 first gen, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone SE, and iPhone 5S. Now, if it's fast on any of these devices or if it behaves really well on the 5S, it will behave well on any device and be fast and fluid. Let's take a look at the build number and then we'll talk about what else is here. You can see the build is 16A5366A, and usually with that A, it means we're at the end or close to the gold master. Now, we did have an A version before, and then it went to B and then back to A, so it's hard to say if this is the final, but upon reboot when it installed, I went and updated some apps, and it completely froze up on me. Now, it did free itself up after about five to ten seconds, but I couldn't scroll, I couldn't open any apps, but now everything seems to work okay. So I don't really have any issues now, but before it just wouldn't do anything at all. Now this wallpaper in the background is from the upcoming iPhone XS. It, it was leaked yesterday by 9to5Mac. I'll link it below, but just know it's pretty low resolution, so it's not a very high resolution wallpaper, so you may want to wait until the final is released in the Gold Master. There's no new wallpapers in this version. I took a look at that and I would expect the final version to be out on the 12th when we have that Apple event that I talked about yesterday Apple sent out invites and you'll be able to see all the new iPhones and everything then we'll talk about that a little bit later now as far as what's new well really only that one resolved issue according to Apple's notes there's zero resolved issues but we know it fixes that pop-up so there's one resolved issue all of the known issues from before, all 16 of them still remain. They're mostly developer focused and little bugs with Siri shortcuts, possible issues with locations on maps, things like that as far as traffic and all of the things I've mentioned in the previous beta videos that I'll link in the description below and then above. So take a look at that if you want to know all of the problems that we have, but so far it's okay. I'll be using it on all of these devices to check it out. Now, of course, a lot of you want to know how Fortnite runs and I did start it on this device. So we'll take a look here. Now, while I was waiting for Fortnite to load on the iPhone 7 Plus, I loaded Minecraft on the SE and it, it works fine. I also loaded it on the 5S, but the 5S battery was low enough that it, it died. I probably need to replace the battery in this and there's no way to see battery health. So without external apps, so I need to charge this one back up, but Fortnite looks to be running okay here or works good and frame rate looks good and it hasn't crashed yet. It's been running for a couple minutes, so it looks pretty good that way. And that's it for this. Now I did run a Geekbench on the iPhone 10, so we can compare that. Let's take a look at the Geekbench here. So you can see it's 4,259 for single core, 10,600 for multi-core. If we look at the history, you'll see that 4,259 is a little bit higher than previously and the multi-core is much higher, 250 or so higher. And that's much better. And everything does feel fast and fluid, but the animations feel a little bit slower, maybe slowed down to be really smooth, but it does seem a little bit different to me. I'm not sure if you're having that. Let me know in the comments below. And that's really it. It's going to take a few days to know how battery is on this since it it takes a day or two to kind of settle in and, and check that out. You'll see my screen on time has been really good lately. So hopefully it improves with this beta and we'll see how that goes. Let me know what you think though in the comments below if you found anything else new. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.